first part to catching any fish, Nico, is finding them. 100% Nige. Uh, eyes glued to the sounder. Good spots to start looking. I like that 40 metres of water plus. You will catch them, obviously, in less water. But I like the 40 metre mark to start with. Uh, sound up any sort of discrepancies on the bottom. Just look for a change. Doesn't need to be a great big rock. It just needs to be a change in the bottom. That's your first key. The second step is positioning the boat. And the third step is getting rigged up, ready to catch them red. Cool. So let's find a little lump, which you think is going to have a few. And we'll start putting a rig together. Let's do it. See, that, see what we're coming onto here, Neon Nige? Yep. I like the look of that. That's worth putting a mark on, I think. Uh, so we'll ping that. And we might just do a little position of the boat. We'll come back and sit on that. And the key when we're going to position the boat on top of a likely red emperor mark is to not anchor. We talk to a lot of red emperor anglers. The moment that anchor goes down, fish go quiet, they hear that noise. We've got two options. We've got a bowman electric on the front of this boat. It's GPS positioning that allow us to sit on top of the mark or slightly above it, depending on what the current's doing. Or if you don't have one of those, you've always got one of these. It just means you're gonna have to draw straws. Someone fishes, someone drives this, and then just use the outboard to keep you on that mark. And within five to 10 minutes, you're probably gonna know if the fish are there for a bite. If not, you move on to the next spot, and that's how you anchor. Rigs for Red Emperor are very simple. Paternoster sinker on a loop at the bottom. We use an 80 pound leader. I like to run a double, about 600 long, even up as far as a metre. It just gets your bait away from your main line. Very crucial, really helps with the presentation. Hooks are very simple, anywhere from a 6 to a 10 depending on bait size. More importantly with red fishing is actually your sinker selection. You fish in deep water, you fish in current. So you need to ensure your sinker will get your bait to the bottom. More importantly, anchor your bait to the bottom to allow your bait to be presented freely in the current and look very natural. On the bottom of the pattern Oster, I like to use a large loop. This allows me to add as many sinkers as required to anchor my bait to the bottom. Connection is exactly the same as the hook, but you can put on multiple if required. Another trick I use when I'm red fishing is creating noise under the water. It's as simple as using two ball sinkers above your loop and you get them to tap together. Get them to just tap together. Bait selection is crucial in red fishing. I like to use big strip baits, squid, and even the humble pilly sometimes can be a good choice. Very simple to rig up a strip bait. It's as simple as running your hook through the strip once that is all you need to do. Rigs for Red Emperor are very simple. This is a P1 to 3 rod, 80 pound braid, 80 pound leader. Nothing too fancy. Short rod, plenty of tips to feel the bite, nice and sensitive, but as the rod loads up, plenty of power down the bottom end. Very important for reds, because when you hook them, you'll feel why you need power. Real wise, we like something with plenty of drag, smooth to use, and nice and light as you'll be holding on to them for a while. Found a spot to fish now, Nico. About to drop a big bait down below. What do we have to do to hook one of these? Big baits, Nige, will encourage a lot of small picking fish to come and pick at your bait. Don't be impatient. You're gonna feel them, you're gonna get anxious, you're gonna wanna strike. Big mistakes in red fishing. The key to red fishing is patience. Sit there, let the little fish bring the attention to your bait of a big fish. They will see them picking, they'll get excited. The big fish will come over and say, this is my spot, you go away, I'm eating that. And that's about the time where you slowly lift your rod, never strike fast on a red, lift your rod, feel the weight, then you set your hook. When you can feel the weight, set your hook. Awesome, so you gotta let that rod properly load, strike, and then hope the drag set and uh, sharks don't play the game and you get the fish back in the boat, and then we're all happy. And then we're all happy. No worries. I'll show you how to do it nice. Right, mate. most important things to catch a red. Find the ground, position the boat, right rig and bait selection. And patience. Patience is always key on fishing, Nigel. 
all those great tips, and you too could very soon be playing with your first or hundredth Red Emperor.